Hi there and welcome back my friends. We have researched the Aldib system. We have killed the Stellar right inside of that. And now we are aiming to uncover the mysteries of what was behind that being. Also we need to recover. I mean because look at that. The thing has nearly killed our strike force of Corvettes. Woo! I really, I certainly didn't expect that. <laughs> so, um, we're a little bit down. We're a little bit down on fleet. But we might make up for it in tech. And we're also building new habitats to make us able to produce more base resources Research ourselves actualized. and more trade, of course. Advanced railguns. A new version of the venerable railgun with sturdier rails and an enhanced power supply. These weapons are even more powerful and accurate than their predecessors. We're also doing uh, the thing where we research everything. Because then we'll have a stronger position in our, in our um, research. Because then we can choose actually what to research. Which is sometimes not really possible if it's always blocked through some obsolete technologies. So here we go. Von Wegen has leveled up, nice. And we found something out in the fact system. Yeah, the fact of the matter here. The fourth chamber, this time the lever was concealed in the roof. The fifth chamber has more alien writing. Ooh, it's about Sarklan. There's none. The challenges are as meaningless as these words. That is my lesson. I am Sarklan the Born, swept along by the currents of history against my will. Proceed, and an audience shall be yours. Should one still be of interest, the next chamber is likely to be the last. Astounding. Fine, let's find out more, my friends. Let's find out more. Also, what's going on with our the Omega structure? Yeah, 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 yeah. Special project <laughs> actualized. We need that. The Stellar Devourer. Studies of the Stellar Devourer's shining remains have left our scientists perplexed and amazed. The star feasting being it's, is itself a miniature fusion furnace, harvesting solar matter to synthesize an energy source of its own. Since the body still contains significant amounts of solar matter from the star of the Aldip system, the one it last fed from it could be possible to extract the energy and reinvigorate the star. Harvesting the corpse's heat for our own ends could satisfy our energy needs in the short term, but would doom the system to an eternal ice age. Ah, okay. <laughs> We could reignite the star, or we could just get it. Harvest the body's energy deposits. I mean, we're kind of aiming for it after the Olossi Restige, so let's try to reignite the Situation star. Situation log revised. Now let's, let's see about this. We, we need to have one science ship in orbit, and we'll try to do that. Research, Mort Durand, from whence it came, and we'll move that fleet back to repair Research and then ultimately to upgrade again. Interstellar expansion, starbase capacity plus one. The immense logistical support networks needed to maintain an upgraded starbase can be further improved, allowing us to support more of these stations. Yeah, that's what what we ultimately want to do. To let's see, administrative capacity, meh. army health. Someone really loves army health in our federation. I mean, I don't, but food is also good. I mean, it's at least better than army health. Yeah, let's go for a fit, little bit of food here. And we have the perfect man for this job. Paul, where are you? Yeah. Do we have a job for the Mented? Mm, yeah, the Mented needs to be ready for the next job. He needs to fill in. Maybe he can learn something in between. 
da 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 That's space platypus. That's space platypus. And we need to build a station. And one of the critical things is that thing, the connected to the outer zones. Um, that is really not that good to have. It's endangered, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So let's let's try and see the trade routes. It's a piracy hotspot, as you can see, because the, the value of this node is so high. Let's see. Piracy has reached its maximum value already. So let's move over here. And, like, do something about it. Um... Because that's really where, where tons of value comes through. So ultimately we, we might need a Corvette fleet for that. I'm not sure. Ah, we're somehow getting there, but also not getting there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's upgrade. Right, it's ultimately that, that is complete. what we need to do. Lightweight Mountain Starbase has finished its construction, and that's nice. Let's continue. The Predic Force for Freedom is doing what it can. 30k here, plus 60k, that would be... Oh, that ban a bar real monastery has the construction of a begun the construction of a sensor array so let's see that now that's all of their fleets summed up and that amounts to 70 76 thousand around that number now if we go for full force we are getting around 90 thousand I believe mm, First we want to upgrade that fleet, but before we do that, we need to go to the ship designer again. Let's see, we, we need good cruisers, and I believe we should go advanced afterburners. I think that's ultimately the better choice, because they are so quick. And we can do that without any doubt. Let's see if there's more. Yeah, the impulse thrusters. So we can have a really good speed. On that Should fire rate chance to hit mm -hmm. it's fine disruptor cruisers up updated then mm, the disruptor one we'll see 312 what is that right <sighs> yeah that, that's not gonna be good probably to replace that i mean we could try it out let's try it out it could be good because 312 is just so crazy <clears throat> Then we have the battleship, the huge disruptor. It's these. And the neutronium armor, of course. Do we have other things here? Yeah, I mean, look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Disruptor cruiser, here we go. And the that's fine 
medium disruptor. Yeah, why not upgrade that as well? Advanced afterburners, fine. Very quick fleet. Disruptors. 215 is not a bad speed for a battleship. And so we can just delete that design. And we can go for the Titan design now. Let's see, we have the Titan, and Titans must be large the things. The condition beam. It's ultimately, I think it's energy. It's a beam. I mean, it must be energy, right? But there's nothing to show for it. Well then, um, what do we want to have there? That's pretty useless then. But we want to specialize in energy weapons, so null void beam is definitely a good thing to have. 50 and 75 is the neutron launcher. 150 is the large plasma cannon. 42, 29. Yeah, the neutron launchers are all in all the much better weapon, right? Just because the higher damage is just so good. So we get it a mix this stuff and the neutron launchers. Four hundred minus fifty shield damage. I don't know, let's just go for the neutron launchers. I think that's fine. And Advanced afterburners. As many hyper shields as we can afford. The rest is neutronium armor. And then we're fine. We're fine. The neutron titan. Here we go. Shield dampener. Oh yeah, that would of of course help a lot, yeah. Uh, artillery tactics is fine. Yeah, that's the Titan we need. Question is, should we build one Titan? <laughs> Maybe for our battleship fleet, right? We could have one Titan in there. Let's remove some of the battleships from the equation, add a design to the fleet. That would be a, a neutron class. And now what are you doing? We should upgrade them. So start the upgrade for that stuff yeah you should also be upgraded and you back from whence it came the researching researching again back from whence it came Ultimately, we need any food that we can get, right? <laughs> Just that little bit. Oh, 
the Shapa. Special project actualized. Maud Duron has leveled up. Is now a genius. Wow. The project was a success. Submerging the Stellar Devourer's remains in the Aldip system star has stoked the flames of the solar furnace. The plants in the system are heating up, reverting to their past forms as their ecologies recover. Among them was a frozen world, now thawing to reveal a Gaia world, ripe and ready for colonization. Well, that's excellent. And Duron has gotten that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, and that's also the only world there, but it's a big world, it's a good world, it's a fine world. We will return with, with Maud to the Blue Mountains and Ishgul Prime. She can recover there. It's the final countdown. Let's see. What are you all doing? Good enough. Good enough. We're not going to go into Research the deep actualized. politics there. We have our rich water habitat complete. Yes. Colonize it. Mm. I think it was, was it about mining? I'm not so sure anymore. I think it was rich water mining habitat or something like that. Rich water mining we go. And now, uh, is there more, is there more, is there more? I don't know, maybe in Gruno. Let's let's go over here and enter that orbit. And we have Gorse Cannons. This updated version of the old coil gun design is even more destructive than the latest railgun designs. It's capable of launching projectiles with incredible accuracy and speed. And now Armored Torpedoes. Let's see what we can do about that. Colonial Enterprise upsizing. Nice. Ship upgrades. Yeah, I know we have too many people. What's going on there? Minor administrative sanctions. No, we don't want sanctions. Sanctions are not fun. Up. Exotic gas uh, has run its course. We can do without your gas right now. We have a lot of gas. Mm, I believe that should move over here, maybe. Ultimately. Building a habitat there. So there's that. And edicts, edict time, edict time. Check, check, check. We need all of this. Here we go. Woo. Force is getting its upgrades and it's it's really bad. What's going on there? All the benefits, all the benefits. Research actualized. Armored torpedoes. Better withstand enemy point defense fire. And now let's go for the mega cannon. Oh, yeah, I, I think we were just in a system where, uh, where the shields were. Deactivated, right? That's of course strange. But there's our transfer fleet. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The coronavirus is definitely a rival. It's very dangerous. Bleak Sands has finished the queue. There's a flight here. There's a progress. Blue Mountain. Every little bit helps. Now let's actually save up so we can start the construction of this thing here. 15,000. First we must, must upgrade the fleets and make, make haste. Against the Olossi, ultimately. And we're already upgrading here? Yes, we are. It's fine. Mm. Opshala is hopefully doing that quickly, and it is, I think. I think. Upscaling complete. The connector's ready. Uh, what can we do? We want a hangar bay. Just because. And maybe not the hyperlane registrar. On the other hand, it makes things just so much smoother. And then upgrade. Um, yeah, maybe maybe go for some defenses here, defense platforms. Let's see. That's also something we need to look at. The democratic defense station needs to be upgraded. It's gonna be fine. Here we go. Oh, what what's that? Build defensive platforms. Oh, that's the queue. Is that the oh, the, the, it's the queue full. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know that. <coughs> The queue can be full, but still. We will do what we can now. That's what we're here for. Another construction ship on Grono. Is there something? I think there is. Oh, there on that. Oh, that's a toxic. That's a world. That's a moon. Ah. Nah, we don't want a moon. A moon's just not good enough for people like you. Ooh, yeah, that barren world, that would be very fine to have. Let's enter here. That's a carbon world. Minerals from Joe's plus 50%. Will that also go over to the habitat? That would be nice. Research actualized. Shield harmonics. The basic mechanics of ship shields are complex, but they can be adjusted in a multitude of ways. And energy credits. Ooh, that would be nice. What else? Let's just go energy credits. That's what we need to... Mega cannon. An enormous mass accelerator cannon that can only be placed in a spinal mount and fires monstrously powerful rounds over vast distances. Oh, backtracking continues with a kinetic battery. And I think it shows in the in the victory log. Look at that. Technology level is rapidly rising now that we're uh, going forward to something like this. Research actualized. Transgenic crops. Transgenic crops offer the nutritional elements of several standard food crops in one convenient package. And we like the package. It's good. It's a good package. So if my best friends have the package. More starbase capacity. Yeah, here we go. Um, Mentat. Time for the Mentat to jump in. 
and you go back to the ship, Paul. Not natural enough yet, eh? <gasps> Fully excavated. The final chamber. After a grueling search, the last key was discovered in the form of a minuscule button hidden in one of the carved alien glyphs. In the last chamber, a gigantic throne holds the slumped and motionless form of a large humanoid figure. A horrible smell hints at the decayed state of the being's body. Some glyphs at the bottom of the throne read simply Sarklan, at your service. The body is too far gone to be moved, but the head is surprisingly well preserved given its age, not wanting to leave empty-handed. Some archaeologists use a laser cutter to remove the head. Intriguing. And hello, <laughs> Ganglia's guardians. It is it's true, then. You have found the legendary tomb of Sarklan. When the Augurs told me, I did not believe them, but the evidence is irrefutable. I understand that you have the prophet's head in your possession. Then, as was foretold, the chosen of the great Sarklan have at last been revealed. As would have been Sarklan's wish, any unsettled holy worlds near our space are yours to do with as you wish. There are also many devout pilgrims on Celestial Throne who would be greatly honoured to fight under your banner. Aha. Uh -huh. The Gal Glan Glanvius Guardians, where are they even? They are here. Well, there's everything settled already so there's that right but let's see let's see we have the head of Sarklan that gives us um oh cannot activate another relic while well, relic activation cooldown is active well then <laughs> Sarklan, renowned holy figure of indeterminate species, worshipped as divine prophet by at least seven distinct galactic religions during Fourth Interregnum. Ultimate fate unknown, but references in historical records cease after the 38th cycle, historicity heavily debated since at least 41st cycle, dismissed by many today as fable or legend. Well, yeah. <laughs> Secrets of the Baal. Delve deeper into the secrets of the ball. We could do that later on. I'm not sure about it yet. Um, let's see about the fact system. If the Eden is parity there with von Vegan, and von Vegan should try to learn again, I think. Do we have something where he can learn? At Power of the Stars, I think he can learn something. Some things. Some things. And will the fleet soon be upgraded? I hope so. The transport fleet will soon be ready and I think we'll concentrate on uh, making the battleship fleet great. The democratic force for freedom with its cruisers mixed in. That's perfectly fine. Um, Yeah, look at that. Research actualized. The 180. Kinetic battery, a very long range artillery capable of hurling powerful rounds over extreme distances with a large degree of accuracy. And here we can go. Devastator torpedoes. Here we go. Not interesting for us at all, but well, it is there. Angelon Kingdom. What's the Angelon Kingdom? I'll make us teach harmony in all things, new Eden cyberpunks. Perhaps one day we may strive for it together. The Angelons. Felizimus opens the borders. Ship upgrades still running. Building these habitats, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we 
15,000. Yeah, we should start to... We should start it as soon Doing as possible, I think. Is so. where you find it. Yeah, we have established a colony rich water mining in the rich water system. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, what we'll do there is uh, go for a decision and go for the luxury goods and ultimately build all mining base that we can. Let's start with four. Here we go. New doing well, and we have enough for the bulwark of harmony. All organisms, no matter how perfect, must rely on an immune system to ward off the threat of outside disease. Our society is no different. While in a defensive war with another empire, ship build speed is increased by 33%. In addition to the ship, fire rate is increased by 50% for ships within our borders. Very nice. And now we're complete here. That opens up like a lot. That opens up things beyond compare. Very soon, hopefully. Mm. You see, there's some interesting things we can do. Most interesting is will to power, monthly influence plus five. That's the best. The best. And it opens up construction Research of many more habitats. Mm -hmm. Devastator torpedoes, advanced torpedoes with very powerful warheads. And let's go for the Giga Cannon. Giga Cannon or the Whirlwind Missiles next? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. What's gonna be next? Yeah, let's go for the Giga Cannon. And here we go. Fox has started to integrate the Evoken. Oh, yeah. Well, then. This is how it goes, right? So. Very soon. Very soon. We'll have all of them upgraded and then we Ships can start upscaled. filling up the fleet, which is very good. We're still going here. And we will reinforce the fleet at an immense cost. Will we do that now? I mean, we need it for the Olossi plan, so we have to. We will wait in rich water. Mm, let's stop for a moment, then let's stop again and then upgrade the fleet. I mean, that's the ultimate challenge. We need more alloys, of course, but... Yeah, it's time, it's time, it's time. In here, as well. I know that's not a great thing to disband this, but... Upscaling complete. Ultimately... I've got no choice. Dis Ban the station and build a habitat here. And we'll need more more ships. Ships coming. Ships everywhere. Ships. Right, we've got a shipyard queue here. Ah, we need a colony ship. Have to do that sooner or later. The Force for Freedom fleet has been fully upgraded, so we have a very quick movement by these beings now. Will ultimately help a lot. An alien entity identified. A tubular alien entity has entered orbit of Bleak Sands Prime with no warning or explanation. It appears to be moving without engines or thrusters, gliding in complete silence through the void of space, cylinders rotating ominously. 
Though it has yet to display any signs of aggression, it refuses to acknowledge our hails. Our military advisors warn that it might pose a considerable threat to the inhabitants below and implore us to engage neutralization protocols. Our scientists, however, plead that we instead learn from this remarkable piece of technology. Yeah, we will study it. Situation log revised. Well, let's see what we can do there. Let's research that. Determine its purpose. And, um... Actually, we want to go to the L gate. Right now. Ultimately, we want that. We want that. The Democratic Force for Freedom is ready. Let's go to Neverland. Let's change that Olossi plan again. Because... Special project actual. We can avoid the enigmatic cache. Despite extensive research, the enigmatic cache and its origin are still shrouded in mystery. Though it is definitely not organic in nature, it is not entirely machine either. It appears to be preoccupied mainly with the gathering, storing, and encoding of data. Its surface is covered in hundreds of thousands of minuscule scratches and dents in which we have discovered traces of a compound that is alien to our galaxy. Intriguing. That thing is crazy. As the crew returning from the X1 labs were decontaminated, we ident identified an alien substance of their protective wear. Upon close examination, it has proven to be fragments of microscopic robots turned into fine grey dust. Among the samples, we found an intact nanite carrying instructions for attaching bolts to a structure we believe could be a gateway. Molecular constructs maybe have had an integral part in assembling the L entire Elgate network. Oh yeah, and um, actually, let's move there. Strelitz Gleb is ready. A great Research dust. Actualized. Interstellar expansion. Starbase capacity plus one. The immense logistical support networks needed to maintain an upgraded starbase can be further improved, allowing us to support more of these stations. That's ultimately very good. Army damage. <laughs> We've got someone who's learned about army damage. Which is pretty good. Administrative capacity, not so much. Army health, of course. Naval capacity, not so much. Leader lifespan, not so much. Let's go army damage then. Why not? And Neo is on it. Mentor goes back to the ship to help when we have no one specialized for the task. And of course, oh, let's upgrade these. Fact station as well. Yeah, fact station as well. I play bad guys is leveled up. Send is in update. session. Starbase fleet, the Starbase fleet. Ships upscaled. Nice. I mean, it's a strong, strong force here now. Ships upscaled. Ships upscaled. Always that. How about the crystals? Yeah, the crystals are Ships fine. upscaled. Ships upscaled. Mm. Research actualized. Rich water mining. How is it doing? There's two people here now. Population. It's growing at a massive rate, of course. Ships upscaled. And assemb assembling Ships new Eden cyberpunks. The Giga Cannon is there and we'll now go for Kinetic Artillery. Starbase fleet, starbase fleet, starbase fleet. Ships upscaled. 
How much do we Ships need for upscaled. the Elgate? Research actualized. Applied superconductivity. Energy from jobs plus 5%. Minor improvements to transmission efficiency adds up to a sizable reduction in overall energy loss. And now... We could go for more of that. And that's absolutely fine. DSX-75 is also leveled up. Giving us hope or something like that. Mattress Wilson heading to the gate to Neverland. Let's see what we can do here. The Democratic force of freedom. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, you, you can see there's a Titan even in it. There's that, there's that. Yeah, that's that's immense what what is consumed there. We need more room and more room is also being produced, so it's fine in, in a way. And I think it would be fine to to open up this thing, research the project. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh well, we can only go for galactic wonders later. And um, other than that, I'd say thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll open up the Elgate in the next episode. Have a great time until then and happy gaming. This is Manuel Khan signing out. See you soon. Happy gaming.